Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. There are a lot of updates I need to tell you guys about. So first off, we have these new treats and they are, they have a little bit of oats in them, but not too much. And they have a little bit of banana and carrot and that's it. And these are for bunnies and guinea pigs. So bunnies can have oats just, and guinea pigs can have oats just in very small amounts, like one of these a day which you shouldn't be giving your pet a lot of treats today anyways. That's the first thing. Next, I should be getting my first order of boxes tomorrow and my second order of boxes the day after. And then the other shipment I had coming with all the new products, they are supposed to be coming, well, they said that they got the items back in stock and that they that it, the order has been shipped, but It'll take between 2 and 14 days, and since I got the stuff internationally, it's going to probably take longer, which is kind of upsetting. But, um, other updates, we have dog and cat mystery sets, which are only $15 on my shop. You'll get a mystery amount of items, they just won't be in a box. It won't be a subscription box, It'll, and they won't have a theme. It'll just be randomly picked items. Now we have hamster, guinea pig, rabbit, dog, and cat mystery sets. And also, I announced that we are going to be doing May subscription boxes. I didn't think I was going to because it's already May, so I put the June ones up. But I figured, you know, I probably still have time to do them. So I'm going to do the May subscription boxes for hamsters, guinea pigs, and rabbits. So get those now. The rabbit, I mean the hamster ones are $15, I'm pretty sure. And the guinea pig and rabbit ones are $22. Yeah, I made them a lot cheaper because I overpriced them by a lot. I don't know why I did that. I, I was calculating stuff and I did it completely wrong. But I dropped the prices. So that's all the updates I have for, for today, and I'll see you tomorrow, most likely when I am opening up my next set of boxes. Hey guys, so it's the next day, and I got my small boxes in the mail. So what I'm going to do is open this up, and I'm going to put them all together, just so I'm prepared for, all, for any new orders I get. So let's go and do it. finished taping up all the boxes and there are 25 and I have them in two rows but they took up a lot more space than I thought so I have 15 of the little bubble wrap ones 25 of these ones which are bigger than I thought they were gonna be and I thought I only got like 10 but I guess it was 25 and then I'm gonna get even bigger boxes which I don't think I'm going to be using as often, except for the subscription boxes and some of the mystery sets, like the big ones, like the dog and cat ones. Yeah, and then I put all my packing stuff in here. So I actually just got an order. So they want five small peanut butter dog treats, five bags of small peanut butter dog treats. And I don't think I have any bags of the small... No, I don't. I only have large and the hamster ones. So I need to make three hearts and two stars. So I have to go make those right now and then pack them and try to send them off today. So let's go do that. So I finished baking all of the cookies, three hearts and two stars. So all I need to do is just cut the tops of the bags off to make them a little shorter and then tie bows around each one. So 
I finished all of them and I tied them all up and now I'm just going to pack them and send them off. So these boxes were actually the large boxes. I just thought they were the smaller ones because I ordered the smaller ones six days ago and I ordered the larger ones three days ago. But these are the larger ones because I measured them because I thought they were looked really big for the small ones and they are the large ones. So now I just have to wait for the smaller ones to come in. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. I just wanted to say some updates. So um, the small boxes still haven't come in yet. And it's been a couple days. It's been over a week since I've ordered them. So I ordered some more of the small ones to see. Uh, and if they come in, I'll just have extra. But that's okay. So I ordered the stock for the subscription boxes. So those should be all set. For the rabbit ones and i have to make one of these snuggle sacks but i have to make it in an extra large so i've shown you what the small and the large look like this is the small so i'm thinking about adding extra large and extra small on my store so all different kinds of animals can go in them so hamsters can fit in the extra small ones or they can fit in all of them but they're better size for them and the rabbits can go in the extra large ones so yeah so i'm gonna go make that right now and another thing i have kept i changed out where i'm keeping the hamster treat so i'm gonna start keeping them in these jars instead of those containers i had just to keep it easier um so these are the peanut butter ones so i need to make more so I'm gonna go make those now and I'll see you guys when I finish. So this is what the large one looks like, or the extra large. Um, I would, so let's, if you wanna compare them. Actually, I don't have the large, so this is it compared to the small. So it's actually pretty big. I, I think it is 16 by 18. I'm pretty sure I'll have to remeasure. So it's 16 by 17. So it is a lot bigger. This one can fit rabbits in it. I actually have pictures of s'mores in it. So these ones are probably going to be $20 maybe. Because they're so big. Um, and they use so much fabric. So, so that's that update. I'm probably going to end this vlog here. And I'm going to be getting a bunch of packages next week. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my shop. We have these on them along with a lot of other things that I showed you earlier or in another video. Yeah, so check that check that shop out. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time.